Okay, my friend, I hope you're doing well. Um, this is a studio simulation software that I have. It's called Set a Light 3D. And I'll send you a link to it if, if you're interested in it. Um, I can't remember how much it costs. I've had it for a few years, but it's super useful. And um, they update it regularly. So anyway, I'm going to show you what we've got here. I've got a, I've got a, well, let me see here, right here. So I creep, no, I didn't get, hang on here. Let me get over here so I can see what's going on. I've got a Ellen Chrome 400 watt second head in here. And then I have for a modifier, I have a, where is that here? I have a 48 inch octave with a grid on it. Okay. So I think that matches what, what you've got available. And then for this light over here, I have the same Ellen Chrome head, and I have a 20, I think it's a 20, yeah, a 24-inch um, octaform with uh, diffusion material on the front of it. So from what you showed me, I think that's basically what you've got. Now, I'm shooting this, um, I'm shooting this with a, uh, with a full frame camera and a uh, let's see here full frame camera and a 70 to 200 millimeter 1 1 60th of a second f8 iso 100 and white balance of 6000 which is not really that important but i want you to pay attention to the way this works it it shows you exactly where to position these now it's a little bit tricky with this, and I'll tell you what I would do if it were me. Um, I would, I would give me some some fabric or some cardboard or something, and I would tape up everything except these two or three um, rows in the middle, and that will give you a much uh, a much easier to control um, beam of light. Unless you have a strip box, that's pretty much the only way to get what you're going to want in order to recreate this look. Now you can do it. It's not going to be exactly like the example that I showed you yesterday, um, but it'll work. And then the same thing with, with this light over here. If you can, if you can mask off or flag off some of that and you, because really what you want is you want this side of the background to be pretty much completely black and then a little bit of light on this side, and then a little bit of highlight here. So anyway, this is how I would set this up to get a shot like this. And like I said, there are some ways that you can refine it. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to pull this image into um, either Photoshop or Lightroom, or maybe I can do it in both. But we'll start out in Lightroom and see how that works. And I'll show you how I would edit this to get the look that we were talking about yesterday. So let's pop on over to Lightroom and show you how to edit it. Okay, really quickly. Okay, really quickly before we pop into Lightroom, I'm just going to show you this. And I'll include this um, as a PDF, but I want to show you how this works. This is laid out on a grid, obviously. And each one of these squares is is one foot by one foot, 12 inches by 12 inches. And so it literally shows you, okay, so you want this light to be one, two, three, four, five, six feet to camera right, and whatever that is from the back, one, two, three, four, five, six feet from the background. Okay, and then you can look at this one right here. So this one is one, two, three, four, five feet away from the subject. And then one, two, three, four, five feet from the background. So you can get your measurements on this, and it and it really will work out to be um, about the same, especially if you have your power level um, set the same on your lights. And I think that both of these were set at three out of ten. Um, at well, no, I'm sorry, three out of ten is the is the range and it's this one set at 7.6 and this one set at 5.2 so and, and you may need to tweak that a little bit depending on um, on your light and everything but that'll give you a really good starting point so we'll pop into Lightroom and take a look at this 
Okay, okay, so here we are in Lightroom. And so, you know, there's a lot of different ways that we can edit this image. So I'll just flip through and show you what I would do. First thing is I'm going to convert it to, to black and white. I may raise exposure just a touch. Um, certainly we're going to raise contrast on it. Um, come down here and draw the black point down just a little bit. And then to sort of make up for some of the deficiencies that we faced in the way that our lighting setup was, meaning that we didn't have a lot of control over this background, okay? There's a couple different ways to do this. And I don't know how familiar you are with Lightroom, so we're, I'm just going to run through a couple things here, okay? First off, Lightroom has got an absolutely amazing system for selecting your subject and for doing masking. So if you look at this now, we have really done a good job of cutting out the subject from the background. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to duplicate and invert that mask. So now, now we're dealing with only the background and we've got a little bit of artifacts over here in the hair that we could clean up a little bit if we needed to, but I don't necessarily think that will be necessary for what we're gonna do here. And so really all we need to do now is just reduce the exposure on the background until we get it to the point where it's almost black over here and we're going to take care of that in a moment but then just a tiny bit of light over here on this side so something like that is probably going to be about where I would I would leave that now one of the other things that we can do with masking if we want to is we can come in here and we can pull a linear gradient, okay? And I usually try to make sure that the angle of my gradient matches the the line in the photo in the photo. So her face angle is about like this. So I would pull the gradient in about like that. And then again, you can pull the exposure down, and you can really make that drop into. Um, into just complete black okay so that looks pretty good there I might pull my I might pull my I don't get into her nose too much there so that's about where I deal with that okay so we're really really close here to how I would to what I would consider to be almost done on this um, I might come into the image and maybe add just a little bit of texture or clarity just to give it just to give it a little bit more uh, just a little bit more snap okay and that is honestly where I would export this image so you know if we look at that um, if we look at that compared to the original, you can see that we really got close to the image that I posted on the group that, that piqued your interest. Now, I will say that we can come right up here. Oops, let me get back over here. We can come right in here and then go back to our mask. Let me get control everything here. Okay, so we're going to want to um, we're going to want to clean this up in here just a little bit, and you do that by clicking right here and getting you a brush, and then you just get in here and paint that. But anyway, this is not really a comprehensive lesson in in Lightroom. This is just to show you how I would do these things. So anyway, this is this is basically how I would do it. Um, so if you have any questions or whatever, I am happy to answer those, but I'll get you the PDF with the lighting diagram and everything. So find another image that you like, either an image of mine or an image that you see somewhere else, and I'll do my best to help you recreate that. Okay, have a great day.